This is Advisorpedia at the Fearless Conference presented by Nitrogen. And we're here with Brian Hamburger, who's the founder and president of Market Call. So welcome, Brian. Thanks for having me, Doug. Good to see you again. You are out there and you're everywhere. Are you comfortable with the evolution of the industry? And I don't know if we're everywhere. Um, we, we try to be pretty deliberate about where we, uh, where we are. Comfortable about the direction of the industry, you know, yes and no. I mean, I, I love to see the increased sophistication, the complexity. Uh, I love the focus on uh, advisory firms as businesses. But I do sit back, you know, every evening and, and wonder whether we're spending a little too much time on the business of investment advice and a little, maybe not enough, on the practice of advice. And maybe we're losing we're losing some track over what's most important, right? Which is the client or the, you know, the end investor. I think the industry has forgotten why we're all here. I cut my teeth at Schwab where the, and that end investor was the most important thing. And it's never talked about. It's rarely discussed, right? It, it, it's discussed as the afterthought as to, okay, now how are we going to communicate this with the clients? Um, whereas, you know, sitting in a room 20 years ago, that's where the conversations began. It's often where they end it, right? What's best for the clients. And so, uh, you know, I hope that with the increased investment, the outside capital coming in, the sophistication, you know, I'd love to see the, uh, the industry, th that pendulum shift to more of a focus on really what's best for the client. Because I'm a true believer that if the advisors can fulfill their highest and best use to clients, that naturally, you know, there's a rising tide and advisors are the beneficiaries. Speaking of rising tide, do you feel like the next gen is going to be able to take this thing to a higher level? Well, as a, as a parent of a 19-year-old, 22-year-old, and a 23-year-old, I can tell you that the next gen has us in very good hands. Um, however, it's not going to be the next level that we are envisioning now, right? They have a very different sense of work, work-life balance, um, uh, altruistic needs, um, and, um, and they're going to take it in the direction that they deem most appropriate. Uh, and so it's, uh, they are going to take it to another level. It just may not be aligned with what you and I sit here, you know, as the, uh, as the bald guys in the room uh, and what we, uh, what we envision as, as the next level. I think we've got some really interesting times to come with the next generation. Yeah. And before we got on, on camera, you were talking about how are they going to be able to be locked in all day with people? Yeah, it's that, tough. That's going to be a challenge. It is tough, right? I mean, this is a people business at the end of the day. And, you know, the way that next generation generally consumes information is with multiple screens, different data inputs. They're far better than us at processing a, a lot of information from different sources and synthesizing that and then communicating it. They'll communicate it differently as well. Um, but, you know, this is a people business, right? We've forged relationships, you know, shaking hands and sitting down uh, across from the table from one another. Uh, and spending time, right, getting to know one another, uh, you know, and, and uh, I, I fear that that's a tall order for that next generation. They're going to have to be very deliberate in their attempts to, uh, to accomplish that. So let's talk about your conference. Oh, boy. Come on. We have to. <laughs> We're at a wonderful conference here, the Nitrogen Fearless Conference. Let's talk about yours. <laughs> You're always the probing reporter. Can I get another interviewer? You're always a probing reporter trying to pull yeah. more information yeah. from me. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Really? I can? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of next generation. <laughs> Speaking of the next generation, uh, I'm here to ask some questions now. So your conference is coming up again. And it's always one of the best of the year. Uh, when is it? Where is it? And is there anything you can share about it? So the Market Council Summit is, I love how Doug, by the way, sent you in to do his dirty work. Yes, yes. Uh, the Market Council Summit is held in uh, the Green Valley Ranch in Las Vegas, Nevada, from December 4th to December 7th. We're really looking forward to our event this year. Is there anything you can tell us about it? Uh, who's going to be there? Anything fun on the agenda that you're looking forward to? So Doug is always trying to get the agenda out of me long in advance of the conference, and that's why he sent you in here, by the way. Um, we, we do have a late developing agenda. However, what, uh, what we do rely upon uh, each and every year is it's, uh, it's a very unique conference that's invitation only. It's comprised of founders and the C-suite of the fastest growing financial advisors uh, across the independent wealth management space. Uh, also the C-suite of all of the industry service providers and top journalists. And we come together for three days 
to really have meaningful discussions, debate, and dialogue, all free from the influence of sponsors. That's great. And how do you think it's going to be different from years past? Is there anything different or new that is going to be brought to this event in particular? It's a good question. You know, we sit down at the end of each event every year, literally at the event, we sit down and we capture an after action review that takes three to four hours and we list out the hundreds of things, small tweaks that we would like to make to bring about continuous improvement each and every year. And our objective is to continuously evolve the, the event, not to introduce any type of radical change from year to year. People come at the end of the year, um, Aaron Klein has called it the Davos of Wealth Management. Uh, others have called it the, ho- the industry's Christmas party or holiday party. Uh, we're okay with, uh, with either of those uh, monikers. Uh, we really look forward to, uh, to being the humble hosts for, uh, for so much of what's great on the independent wealth space. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it.